Hello, hello! My name is Callista, and welcome back to the case of the Golden Idol. In the last episode, we finished off Chapter 2, The Cursed Inheritance. Walter Keen, a member of the Brotherhood of Masks, tried to steal the idol from Edmund. Now, he did leave a bit of a booby trap. There was an explosion, and apparently, Edmund died. He got caught up in the explosion and he is no longer with us. Now, here's the thing, to be perfectly honest, Edmund was, he was the main driving force behind so much of this. His actions were the ones pushing the plot forward. So I'm really interested to see how things will go without him there. It's, it's really intriguing now. <laughs> God, this, this is spooky. This is very spooky. Let's make a start on book seven. I believe, yeah, seven, yeah. The strange practices of a secretive society. Okay. Oh. Hello. I know drag marks when I see them. Yeah, two people. They've grabbed someone and drug him over here. Oh, hello. <laughs> This clue has been added to the thinking panel. <laughs> mm -hmm. The tattoo depicts a hand and an eye. Eye? Okay. Hel Hello. Ash Blair Finest Tobacco. So we know that David is here. A shabby formal coat. Yeah, that is David's coat. A coil of rope. To David Goran for reliable service from EC. Yeah, Ed Edmund was rather fond of David by the end of it. David, the gathering will be on... Oh, Jesus, this music. <laughs> Flipping heck. The gathering will be on March 14th. To follow our plan, we should be there at least two hours before midnight. The target will arrive in full costume, grab, grab rope and weapons... W.K. Walter Keane? A loaded pistol... That is a very fancy hat. And he's even, he's even put paper on the ground so his hat doesn't get dirty. Yeah. This is Walter... So David and Walter are now working together. A loaded pistol. Yeah. A clean new coat. And a sword. This, this is weird. Here's the thing. We, we don't know how loyal David was. Because to be perfectly honest, the impression I've gotten of him is that he's only here for the money. If Edmund wasn't paying him, then Edmund would say balls, not Edmund, then David would say balls to this, I'm out, I just want to get paid. That was kind of the impression I had of him. I didn't think that he had any love for Edmund, it was just, hey, he pays well. He pays well. He seemed like a very mercenary type of fella, so... Unless Walter is paying him... I... I can't see why David would suddenly start working with Walter. This is... This is... Yeah, they've... They've separated off to make it look less suspicious. I... This clue has been added to the thinking panel. Brothers wear masks appropriate to their house. Dark hands, proud beasts, and water snakes. Brothers wear robes appropriate to their rank. Master, steward, initia. Okay, so the guy outside, he's an initia, and it was a it was a hand. I think he had a hand. Yeah, okay, so he's a dark hand steward, was it? No, dark hand initia, okay. I January 5th, 1789. Masters! I ventured on the Order's mission to reclaim our fire-breathing relic and, with great resolve, punish the despicable enemy. 
I, with a few brave companions, fearlessly entered his hideout in a remote hunting cavern. Ca cabin? Again, I'm, I'm recording this straight after the last one. It's, it's still really hot. It's still hot as hell. But the devil had prepared a treacherous trap, and an explosion slaughtered my dearest friends as we entered his study. I, I don't think you were particularly close with those people, Walter. I don't think you were. Thanks to my sturdy physique, I survived the blast, only to be assaulted by the enemy's lackey, assassin warrior, David Go David was knocked out. <laughs> Sir, this is bullshit. Sir, you are spewing bullshit. And a pack! There was one dog. I'm s Okay, no. Breathe, breathe. We're fine. Don't, don't make fun of his bullshit too soon. Thanks to my sturdy physique, I survived the blast, only to be assaulted by the enemy's lackey, assassin warrior David Goran, and a pack of bloodthirsty hounds. After an hour of fight, an hour of fight, I received numerous deadly wounds, in spite of which I prevailed and defeated my assailants with my martial training. I discovered the enemy's dead body, slain by the trap of his own making, but no trace of the relic. I am forced to go into hiding because the government's watchmen are tracking me. Once I have recovered from my deadly wounds and shaken off the watchmen, I will send you the next report. May the griffin awaken Walter Keane. Okay, if he is telling the truth, here's, here's the thing, this is a load of bullshit. This is a load of bullshit. So what is the likelihood of him telling the truth about this? Slim to none. But if he is telling the truth, who has the relic? Edmund is dead. I mean, David could have taken it for himself. I think there's a chance that Walter may have taken it for himself. He realizes that the idol is powerful and he doesn't want to give it up to uh, his masters. I... Hmm. Interesting. October 20th, 1789. Masters, I must apologize a thousand times for my absence, but my road to recovery was full of peril and valor that cannot be sufficiently conveyed in writing. <laughs> ah, the government dogs and spies chased me tirelessly, and I was forced to seek refuge in Aquitania to recover from my still dire wounds. There, I finally bested my pursuers with the help of Lazarus Hurst. Lazarus. A resourceful gentleman whom I met in a remote manor one dark winter's night. Not only did he earn my trust by stepping into the fray against the villains, but he turned out to be well versed in the arcane arts. Of course, not yet close to your skills. I have finally recovered and plan to return to Albion. I suggest that Lazarus would be a fine addition to our order. I vouch for him and will invite him to undergo the appropriate trial. May the Griffin awaken, Walter Keane. Okay. Lazarus. So, I... The name Lazarus comes from the Bible. Now, I... Here's the thing. I... I, I was raised Roman Catholic. Bible stories were treated like bedtime stories to me, so I am very familiar with the tale of Lazarus. However, um, just in case you are not, um, basically, Lazarus was... He was basically Jesus' best friend. One day, Jesus is sat at home doing whatever he do, when a messenger runs in and says, Jesus, I've got some terrible news for you. Your bezzy mate Lazarus... He's totes dead. Jesus says, nah, no, he is not. No, no I'm, I'm telling you, he is. There was a doctor, like the death certificate has been signed. His kids have cashed the, uh, the um, life insurance policy. He is 100% dead. Jesus says, nope, he ain't dead. I'm telling you, he ain't dead. The guy says, okay, I'll take you to his tomb. I will take you to his tomb and we will prove to you that Lazarus is dead. Jesus goes to the tomb. He says, move the rock. Lazarus, he was buried in a cave and a big rock was, you know, put in front of it. And so they move the rock and Jesus calls out, Lazarus, mate, come on out. No reply. Jesus says, I'm going to go and wake him up. His kids are like, oh my God, sir, this, this is so insensitive. What are you doing? 
but Jesus goes in and he comes out and Lazarus is, is with him. He has risen from the dead. Jesus has brought him back. His kids are going mental. They're saying, what about the life insurance policy? Do, do we have to pay that back now? And Lazarus is just there like, well, hey, I came back from the dead. Um, that is roughly the story of Lazarus as I remember it to the best of my ability. A man who rose from the dead. This seems like a very pointed name. I... I'ma remember that. I'ma put a pin in that. January 16th, 1790. Illuminated Masters, I object to the admittance of the individual Lazarus Hust to our brethren. I submit that our dark-hand brother, Walter Keane, who vouches for him, cannot be trusted because he's a liar and a thief. I mean, true, he is a massive liar. I am certain that on dispatching our enemy, he kept the golden fire-breathing idol for himself. Nothing will move me on this. He must produce the relic, apologize profusely to me, and afterwards be expelled from our brotherhood, Sir Geoffrey Sinclair. Okay. I... Oh, hello. This clue has been added to the thinking panel. Okay. Uh, we've got a man on the property ladder. I have no mouth and I must eat. The fish is on the property ladder. Oh, I'm sorry, mate. <laughs> I'm sorry, mate. If fish own houses before you, like that, that's just sad. And we've got a guy who does not know how to dress appropriately. Okay. Okay. Prepare to receive what you have earned. February 10th, 1790. Brother, a member of our order has proposed a new candidate to join our brotherhood. Our brother's trustworthiness, however, has been challenged. Therefore, we have decided to take measures to resolve the fate of these individuals. If the brother proves himself, he can vouch for the newcomer. If the newcomer survives the appropriate trial, he will join our ranks. You are summoned to join our gathering on March 14th and fulfill your role in the rights of the Brotherhood. Council of Masters. Okay. No, no, that wasn't what I wanted. There we go. Okay. And this was the proud beast, and he's got a ruby ring. A ruby ring on his finger, and this one is in his pot. Okay, so yeah, you're gonna go through the trial. If you survive it, you join the guild. I... I have signaled to Griffin who I am. I accept my fate, whatever it may be, so... We've got a guy called Lazarus. Named after the man who rose from the dead. We also have a man who has just died. And we haven't seen... Wait, there was, there was something. There was something. There was something about his face. Which severely disfigured him. So his family members wouldn't be able to say one way or the other whether it was Edmund because his face was disfigured. I mean, he's, he's got the same hair colour, but we know that Edmund was wearing a wig. I mean, may maybe it was a wig the same colour as his hair? I... One second. No, one sec no again, I'm... I the heat is confusing me. I do apologise. I want to see. Because this was a pretty good picture. He's got a very prominent chin. Quite a long nose. High cheekbones. Although he's, he's old, his cheeks are going to be a bit more s sunken in here. Long nose, high cheeks, prominent chin, Lazarus. La I... I just find that really suspicious. Lazarus was the guy who rose from the dead. I...
I'm going to put a pin in it for now. However, however, I suspect, I suspect that this is dear Edmund. He stopped using the, 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 the youth, the, the youth thing, the idol, the make, make the apple new and shiny, make it younger. I think he stopped using it on apples and I think he, he did it on himself. And he decided to pick a biblical name that would refer to his nature. I, I'm gonna put a pin in it until I get some decent proof, but I mean, just looking at his face, I mean, they look similar. It's the chin. It's a really distinctive chin. I... Oh. Inception, you must endure the tests of snail, fire, water, tree, administered by Proud Beast Steward. Evaluation, you must endure the test of tree, fire, time, water, administered by Dark Hand Steward or Master. Transition, you must endure the tests of star, fire, water, snail, administered by Water Snake Master. Admission, you must endure the tests of snail, time, water, star, administered by any master. Okay. I am a I'm a leave you be for now. Ooh, this clue has been added to the thinking panel. Okay. What? <laughs> What have we got here? Done when an accuser has challenged an offend- Oh, a defender, excuse me. Both drinkers must be barefoot. The substance is added depending on the severity of the accusation, including deadly poison. Add substance to one of the cups. Defender chooses first. Accuser chooses the remaining. Both partake in wine cups. Okay. Ritual of Squabble. Only initiates can be defender and accuser. The sword must be borne by any dark hand. A a required decorations of the hall, the grim reaper, the never tiring teacher, the feeder of mouths. Ritual of Conflict. The accuser must deeply hate the defender. The sword must be borne by any initiate. Required decorations of the hall, the never tiring teacher, the keeper of treasures, the mirror of the soul. The ritual of dispute. Only stewards or higher ranks can be defender and accuser. The scepter must be borne by water snake master. Required decorations of the hall. The keeper of treasures. The never tiring teacher. The grim reaper. Ritual of discord. The houses of the accuser and defender stand behind their brothers. The scepter must be borne by dark hand master. Required decorations of the hall. The Speaker to the Blind, the Grim Reaper, the Keeper of Treasures. I. The Griffin has spoken. A tray with a small vial of unknown substance. And a ruby ring. The Griffin has spoken. A ruby ring. Oh, barefoot. Okay. Two cups on a stone altar. They contain some wine, but are mostly empty. The Griffin has spoken. A silver tankard with some red wine in it. And a ruby ring. The man in the mask is not breathing. A ruby ring. Let us await the results from the chamber below. A ceremonial sword. A ruby ring. The griffin has spoken. A ceremonial scepter and a ruby ring. Okay. 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 I. I. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna figure this out. We're gonna figure this. This one should be the easiest, I think. Maybe. Mate, let's let's have a look. See, um, we want to be. Okay, so yeah, he has the hand, so that makes him a dark hand, and it's... So, this guy... is a dark hand... 
initiate. Yeah, I, I didn't think this guy was anyone special. They just, they just grabbed someone. They just grabbed someone so that they could use his clothes. Um. Okay. Oh god, we have to, we have to figure out what these mean. Um. Although there should be. Yeah, this this was the um the proud beast, right? No, no, not that. Yeah, okay. So this guy is a proud beast. Now we just we just have to figure out. Oh my oh my god. Blank blank was blank to a blank ritual. Okay. Okay. Um, oh, well, that is La Lazarus Hurst, but mm, <laughs> I, mm, I don't. I'm suspicious. I am very, very suspicious. Okay, I... Let's, again, I think... Because I... This this is clearly meaningful. This is clearly meaningful. So I, I feel like all of the information here is contained. Someone who carries their home on their back, a snail. So this is either inception or admission. What do we have? So... That either has to be fire or time. And then... Okay, fish live in water. Okay, I get that. And then... But the sun is also a star, so I... Okay. That one is either fire or time. Fire or time, I... I mean, the names don't, I mean, like, admission, I am admitting you to the cult, or it could be, you must admit your flaws. In again, that could be, you, you are incepted into, I don't know if incepted is even a word, but, <laughs> we incept you into the cult, or I... Yeah, I, I don't think looking at the names is going to help me. I... I, f I feel like out of either of them... Oh! Oh no, I get it! I get it! A tree has leaves, it has its coat on in summer, but then when winter comes around, it loses all its leaves. This is Inception, but then, th so this is fire. I... I, I think? If, if we look at this like it's a riddle, what feeds but has no mouth? You feed a fire, but a fire has no mouth? I... Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure this is, um, this is Inception, so this administered by Proud Beast Steward. Okay, okay. So I think this is, um, where is it? Inception. 
right there. And steward. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, so this is a steward. Okay, so then this is a steward. And this guy is a steward. And oh god. Okay, right there. Um he's a proud beast. We just need to figure these out. Okay. 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 Actually, hold up. Yet we we know. We know who was pissed at Walter. It was this Jeffrey Sinclair guy. He was the one being like, I think he's a liar. I think he's a bitch. I, I demand he give us the idol. And also, yeah, this could either be something great or it could be an actual name. So you know what? No, I I think that's Jeffrey Sinclair. From a storytelling perspective, Walter seems to have aligned himself with, with David Goren at the very least and potentially Edmund if he is still alive. Mm, I'm, I'm suspicious. I'm suspicious to man who was risen from the dead. I, mm, um, but yet now that Walter has aligned himself with this group, he's, he's kind of entered main character status. I don't think they'd kill him off immediately from a storytelling perspective. I think it makes a lot more sense for Walter to survive and for Jeffrey to die. So you know what, let's, where is it? Walter Keen. And he said that Walter was a dark hand. So where, where? It's gray. Okay, right there. And if if this is Dark Hand, then that means this is Water Snake. We just just need to figure out these two. Okay. Okay. Also. Okay. Walter's a member of the cult. He'd have his own robes. He would have his own clothes. David is not. They nicked the clothes for David, which means one of these people, one of these people is not like the other. One of them is David. And there's only one other dark hand there. He's an, okay, so these are initiates robes, which make, these masters okay okay yeah i think you're david gore now i i don't think these guys are necessarily important i think i think these guys are just there as set dressing so i you are a master water snake uh master and this would be a water snake Initiate. Now we just we just have to figure out which ritual this is. Yeah, this this doesn't actually tell us anything. Um, I mean, I the Grim Reaper. So we're we're looking for one with a Grim Reaper. Okay, so it could be the squabble, the ritual of squabble. Not conflict. Dispute. And Discord, okay. So we have a key and a book. The Keeper of Treasures, that could be a key. I mean, if they're blind, then they can't read, unless it's in Braille. But like, how, how would we know if the book is in Braille? I... Never tiring teacher. Scepter must be born by a water snake master. I. Key. 
Keys lock away treasures. Books will never get tired and they teach. And the Grim Reaper is the Grim Reaper. I'm thinking it's Dispute. Yeah, no. Yeah, I, I think it's Dispute. Um, Dispute. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, we, we're gonna figure this out. We are gonna figure this out. Okay. What do we have? What? Blank blank was blank to a blank ritual. Okay. It was a dispute ritual, so if... Walter Keen was challenged to a dispute ritual. He, along with David Goran, ambushed Dark Hand Initiate David Goran posing as Dark Hand Initiate. Blanked. Oh. Me, I, I, I can assume that this is talking about Lazarus Hurst. Okay. Okay. Let, let me just run through what I think happened. So, for reasons unknown, Walter Keane has joined up with David Goran and Lazarus Hurst, who may or may not be Edmund Cloudsley. David and Walter, they ambush this guy to nick his clothes so that David will be able to sneak into the ceremony. Lazarus, he's already been given an invitation. Walter Keane has kind of vouched for him, but he hasn't thought of a way to get David in there. So they, they've just nicked a guy's clothes and they've gone in. Now, Walter has been challenged by this Jeffrey Sinclair guy because Jeffrey, Jeffrey recognises that Walter is a liar and a bastard and an asshole. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, Walter. You do have fabulous hats. You have very fabulous hats, but you, you are melodramatic as shit. Um, yeah, so he's, he's accused him of being a liar. They've got to undergo this thing when they're going to have, they're going to poison the cops. And I, here's the thing, we can clearly see that Jeffrey died. Walter survived and it was, yeah, the defender chooses first. So Walter picked first and David Goran is here. He would have seen which cop the poison went into. So I think he, he coughed, he, he signaled, he signaled, okay, have the, have the one on the right. Don't go for the one on the left. So he takes the non-poisoned cop. Jeffrey takes the poisoned cop. And thus he lives, which means that Lazarus can be inducted. I think... I think that's about... Right, yes, signalled. David Goren, posing as Dark Hand Initiate, signalled to Walter Keane with a I mean he's yeah he's holding a tankard he could have he could have just pointed it he he's pointing it okay that one that I'm I'm mimicking the movement you all can't see it but I'm mimicking it signal to Walter Keane with a tankard which cop had no poison.
Jeffrey Sinclair drank the other cup and died. Meanwhile, Lazarus Hurst, who looks somewhat similar to Edmund, but we're not going to talk about that, passed the inception ritual to become proud beast wait no wait it's it's the first rung it's the first rung initiate After being challenged to a ritual with potentially deadly consequences, Walter conspired with David to devise a plan which would ensure his own safety. They captured a Brotherhood member on his way to the gathering. David took his costume so that during the ritual of dispute, he could indicate to Walter which cup was poisoned. Therefore, Walter chose the safe cup and his opponent drank the poison and died. Here's what I'm thinking. If, if Lazarus is Edmund, I mean, even if he isn't, why is Walter suddenly siding with them? Why is Walter suddenly working with David? I mean, if, If Lazarus is Edmund, clearly he used the idol on himself to de-age him. If Walter saw that, maybe that would be enough to make him go, oh shit, this idol is way more powerful than the Brotherhood thinks. You know how to use it correctly. I'm aside with you now. I... There he is. There's the man. I... Lazarus, the guy who rose from the dead. It's, it's such a suspicious name. It, it raises my hackles. I... That, that feels like an intentional pick there. I, I don't... I, I think he's Edmund. I think he could be Edmund. And... Hopefully, we will get answers as to, you know, whether he is or isn't in the coming books. But unfortunately, I'm going to have to bring this episode to a close right here. So, please remember to like if you enjoyed, leave a comment below. And if you wanted to subscribe, it would be very much appreciated. I've been Callista. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode.